Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new Slim Cam 2 Generation 2 from Sonoff. Now we reviewed the Slim Cam 1 generation some time ago and found it to be a rock solid performer with good picture quality and features for a very reasonable price. The Gen 1 was my go-to Wi-Fi RTSP camera for my frigate videos, thanks to its simplicity, ease of setup and configuration, and especially with the RTSP. The Gen 2 looks to build on this with even more advanced features and promises even better picture quality. So let's get the calorie counter out and see if the Slim Cam is still a great performer. The Gen 2 Slimline Cam improves on the Gen 1 in almost every way. In the box, you get the Slim Cam Gen 2, which is 88mm tall and 48mm wide. The camera has a focal length of 3.8mm and a maximum resolution of 1920x1080, which technically makes it high definition. Although in these times of 4 and 8K, this might not seem a lot, wait until you see the image quality. Above the lens is an LED to show various states, while below is a small hole for the microphone. To the right is the QR code used for pairing and the micro SD card, which can take up to 128 gigabytes for local storage of your images and video. To the rear is the USB-C plug that powers the unit and a powerful speaker for two-way communications or to act as a siren. To the left is a single button that is used for resetting and pairing the slimline cam. At the bottom is a base plate that can be attached to a wall with the included screws and raw plugs that attaches to a ball and socket stem to allow for optimal positioning. Although the base is not magnetic as with the Slim Cam 1, which is a shame as I thought this was a great feature. Then you get a two meter USB-A to USB-C cable and a drilling template and a well-written user manual. Optionally, you can get a USB wall adapter, but as it only sips 0.6 amps, any you have lying in a drawer should do. Installation, as you would expect from Sonoff, is one of the quickest and simplest in the industry. You will need the EWI Link application loaded on your phone and an account set up. I'll put a link to the app in the description. Press the icon button in the top right hand corner. Select Scan. Select the QR code on the side of the camera. You'll be dropped into an overview of the camera plus access to the online user manual. Next, you'll be prompted to plug in your camera. Press Next. Press and hold the reset button on the side of the camera for five seconds. You will hear a beep and press next. Verify that the LED is flashing on the front of the camera and press yes. The app will use Bluetooth to search for any nearby devices. It will find your slimline camera, press connect. The app will search for all 2.4 gigahertz networks that are within range. Select your 2.4 gigahertz home network and enter your Wi-Fi password. If you have entered these before, they will be picked up and displayed. Press save. The app will connect to your Wi-Fi, retrieve the information and register to the cloud. Watch carefully as this is done in a blink of an eye. Now enter a name for your camera and optionally a room location and press done. Let's cover off what has changed in the Slimcan Gen 1 to Gen 2. First off, the form factor has changed. The Gen 2 is smaller and has a different mounting plate. Personally, I prefer the Gen 1 mounting as it was magnetic and the amount of movement that was allowed was greater than the Gen 2, but this is personal preference. The communication protocols remains the same at 2.4 GHz, but since this is 1080p, you don't need the throughput of a 5 GHz connection, so no need to change that. Pairing has been improved from the sound pairing, which was novel, but was unreliable at times, to the more standard QR pairing with Bluetooth for nearby devices, which is a tangible improvement. You still get RTSP, night vision, two-way audio and motion detection, although now you get human detection, active zones, sleep mode, privacy zones and more. Then to round off, you still get storage through a micro SD card and cloud off-device storage but this comes with a subscription cost. With the Gen 2, the motion detection gets a significant functionality increase. First off, you can now select an area of view you wish to monitor for motion. These are known as active zones. Next, you can configure whether the whole view or to detect if a human comes into view. This means pets, cars, curtains, moving in the wind can be ignored. This is done as a base feature with no charge or subscription service. 
The sleep mode allows you to define times when the camera will be turned off. And even when, if it is turned on, you can define areas of the view that are not recorded and simply blacked out as part of a privacy zone feature. And best of all, the image quality is vastly improved. Considering the Gen 1 and Gen 2 are both 1080p cameras, the quality in daylight was astounding, but we'll cover this in the performance section later in the video. Integration with Home Assistant is through a custom integration for Sonoff that's available from Hacks. I won't go through the installation of this as I've already done it for the Slim Cam Gen 1 video. Once you have connected your Gen 2 camera from your eWe Link application, then to get your camera into Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, search for and select Sonoff. Now press the three dots to the right of the configure. Press Reload. The number of devices will increase by one. Press OK. Now select Devices. You will see that your Slimline Cam Gen 2 has now shown up. Now let's show our video feed for our Slim Cam 2 Gen 2 in Home Assistant using the RTSP protocol. First, we need our RTSP address. Open the eWe Link app. Select your Gen 2 camera. Select the three dots in the top right hand corner. Scroll down until you see More Settings. Select RTSP. Turn on RTSP. Optionally change the RTSP account name. Press the RTSP password and set a password and press save. Now press create RTSP link. Press copy. Now copy and make a note of this address as you'll need it in Home Assistant. Next we'll need to add the Gen 2 to Home Assistant as a generic camera using the RTSP link. Navigate to settings, devices and services. Search for and select generic camera. Press add device. In the stream source URL, paste the link you obtained from the eWe Link application. Since this already contains the IP address, username, password, and protocol, you don't need to set anything else. Scroll down and press submit. Optionally set an area and press finish. Now press the three dots to the right of the configure and select rename. Change the name to something more appropriate and press okay. Now let's add the camera to a dashboard. For simplicity, I've created a dashboard and already added the Gen 1 camera for comparison. Press the pencil in the top right hand corner. Press the plus tile to add a new tile. Search for and select Picture Glance. Change the name to something more appropriate, in my case, Slim Can Gen 2. Now press the Camera Entity drop down and select our Cam Slim Gen 2. In Camera View, select Live. Now press Save and press Done. And now you can see the Gen 1 camera in comparison to the Gen 2 camera. Comparing the cameras in the Home Assistant dashboard, you can see that the Gen 1 camera appears to have a much wider field of view compared to the Gen 2, which is interesting as the Gen 1 was quoted at 130 degrees and seems to be unchanged for the Gen 2 according to the specifications. But it's obviously different. If you can find where it says that it's changed, let me know in the comments. Switching to a side-by-side -side view of the eWe Link application, you can see the Gen 2 is still much clearer for more vivid colors and sharper detail. Moving to low light conditions, you can see that the Gen 2 uses its superior lens and f-stop to bring you colors, even with low light conditions. Remember that you can also switch to pure infrared like the Gen 1 if you prefer greater detail. Moving to good daylight conditions, you get the benefit of the greater definition, wider dynamic range for colors, and I'm sure a level of AI image processing to make the picture quality stand out. Overall, the picture quality is a step change increase. And remember, considering this camera only costs 1990 US. So the Sonoff Slim Can Gen 2, what do I think? Should you consider it, skip it or buy it? Well, if you're in the market for a top-notch USB-powered Wi-Fi camera, this really should be on top of your list to consider. The Gen 1 was already my go-to camera for quality, ease of configuration and features. The Gen 2 blew me away with its picture quality, features and cost. I really can't think of another camera that comes close. The only real complaint I had was that losing the magnetic mount was a real shame. But that's nothing that some 3M double-sided Velcro stickers can't fix. But apart from that, it's pretty much a buy it. Link in the description. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.